uh, the Masters without Tiger. I'm a big Tiger guy, so I, it's, I'm not entirely looking forward to it. I know I'm supposed to look forward to it, therefore I am looking to it. And once the weekend rolls around especially, I'll be excited to watch it. The Masters screws itself over with its ridiculous lack of TV coverage. It's so it just it's 2017. Get off your high horse. Yeah. If you want to keep charging people $2 for a cheeseburger, more power to you. Like, you want to pretend you live in a... You know, a different world down there. Great, good for you. You yeah. know, be sanctimonious. <laughs> fine, but just put your got. You know, put your product on TV for Christ's sakes. It's just annoying. But uh, then, you know, <laughs> even as we're sitting here trying to talk about things we're excited for, I find a way to complain. Yep. Um, but one thing I do love about the Masters, we're not going to do, we're not going to break down the field or anything. I love that this is the start of the spring nap season. This um, is, it's a beautiful time. There's here. nothing better. The Masters, I mean, CBS coming in and out of commercial with the, the, the piano music. Jim Nance oh, alone. So I mean, that just... the voice is velvety smooth. Uh, it's a, and that's one of those things where you don't feel bad if you fall asleep on a Sunday afternoon at about 12.31. You wake up at 3 in time to watch the, you know, the leaders play the last 8 or 9 holes. You live in life. Uh, you don't miss a whole lot. Right, no. That's the thing. Is, you, know, you get the soothing sounds. Yep. They've... Anything where you kind of whisper and they, they talk very quietly, I'm okay with like taking a nap to that. <laughs> yes, know? definitely. So you have that factor, and then it's just uh, you, the fact that you can take an hour nap and you're not even miss a whole lot. It's nice. Uh, you go back. You can, do that, you can do that all golf season, too. But it just it yeah. feels better in the, during the Masters, which is weird because it's such a great event that you don't maybe not want to miss it. But, hey, if you, yeah. if you nap, you nap. Which so thinking, as you wake up for the, the very end on right, Sunday. Right, and that's all you, you – yeah. you're going to, unless you're Andre, our producer, who naps from <laughs> 4 to 10 every night, it yeah. seems. Um, let's, uh, we, Especially during the World, the World Series. World Series is a game October. October is a total mess for him. Yeah, you try to get him uh, on the horn, and it's like I was asleep. Yeah. Like it was 5.30 in the afternoon. Oh, it doesn't happen yeah. anymore. Okay, sure. Well, maybe you should. You're hacking up a lung when you come in to talk. <laughs> okay, yeah. Maybe next time before you buzz in, <laughs> uh, clear the, the phlegm. Um, let's uh, let's talk sports that are best to nap through. Uh, we'll do our top three. What is the best sporting events that can be on the TV and that you don't have a problem napping just, through, or it's easiest to nap? Just through? Just let nature take its course. Right, yeah, and, that's you know, the thing. Yep. Wake up and just, Sundays in the summer. If I fall asleep, I fall the asleep. The most tranquil sporting yeah. events. Uh, power you, rankings. You want to go first? Sure. Uh, I, okay, so I'm going to eliminate Masters in golf. Just yeah. For the, for the sake of this argument, because we already went over the reasons, that it is just a great, great thing to not do. Poker. I, po- poker's tough because it generally it's on late at night, yeah. so it's like poker after dark That's or whatever. Not napping. So it's not really napping. It's sleeping. Time. It's sleeping. But if you do catch poker... In the afternoon, or you know, early morning to yeah. uh, late morning to early afternoon, they also have some of the, the intangible elements. So, oh, they're actually very tangible. Yeah. Uh, that I like to look for in a good napping event. Uh, you get the sounds. It's just the shuffling. The chips. And the chips. Yeah, that's uh, weird. All of the, the conversation. Like oh, the yeah. conversation. It's just nice, scintillating discourse. Uh, it's not you know, not diving a lot, whole deep into things. You not really. You don't really care. You don't yeah. have a vested interest. I mean. I, I, nobody watches poker and says, wow, I'm a real big Chris Jesus Ferguson fan. You know what I mean? You're just kind of watching it because it's on. Uh, so the same thing for spring training and baseball. Yep. I mean, baseball is another one in general that I, puts a lot of general, people to sleep. Right, yeah. Uh, but yeah. especially spring training. You yeah. get in those later innings and you, you start dealing with, you know, player one, uh, right. name first, last. And you just you kind of drift off, whatever. You get some guy who's going to end up playing in, you know, high A. Uh, to start the season, maybe in the Florida Gulf Coast yep. League, you don't really care. Eh, you just fall off, fall asleep, wake up in the seventh inning, whatever. Third one. This is my dark horse here. <laughs> uh, it's the world's strongest man competition. This is ridiculous. And, it, and maybe it's unfair to even include this because I, I don't really see the world's strongest man competition that much anymore. Yeah, well, I, when I saw your selection, it's thing, just, I guess, it uh, so bit. maybe I'm uh, dating myself a little bit here. I'm thinking back to. The, when I was in my prime, the glory days of <laughs> napping. Uh, but I just remember, this was all, it was late after, it was like 4 or 5 o'clock, I feel like it was always on, get home from school or yeah. something, throw yeah, that was, on. Yeah. It's just, first of all, it's tiring to watch. I mean, you get a guy lifting up a, uh, what amounts to be a, a round ball that probably weighs about 8 tons. <laughs> uh, a guy towing a truck. It's just, it, what it lacks in the... Guy's doing a long toss with a tree pole. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's not really soothing when you put it that way. But what it lacks in the, the, you know, the calming undertones, it makes up for in the really, I just don't give a crap and we're going to throw this on TV. You're is, not uh, using your brain. Yeah. 
Right. It's really, I'm surprised you didn't uh, bring up preseason football. Give me <laughs> That's what I told them napping. too. Preseason football. That's well. Uh, as I'm going to get to, there's a difference between napping and passing out because you drank too much. Right. 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 So, but so the world's strongest man competition. I don't know if it's on anymore, but uh, I just remember taking plenty of naps so that they were because on, yeah. you know it was on every day on ESPN two. Yeah, it was, it was ESPN two, the great TV filler, and it was, just, it was like the who were the guys. Uh, Magnus Samuelson, Magnus like, Samuelson Marius Saab, like, Pudzanowski. Yep. Names, I'm like, who the hell are these guys? Now it's Bam, wake up. Got future, Samuelson, the beast in a log. Future segment, uh, world's strongest man or Swedish hockey uh. player. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to write that one down. Uh, I like that list. It's a decent list. I yeah. like my list better. Um, well, clearly. I'm gonna, yeah, obviously, it's my list. I'm going to start with uh, pretty much any NASCAR race. I like NASCAR. I really enjoy watching NASCAR. You know, and other than like the Daytona 500, there's almost a, a 95% guarantee every week I'm falling asleep at some point during the race. You talk about like you know the soothing sounds of golf. You don't necessarily think of you know cars driving around a track at 180 miles per hour. You know, 40 of them making a ton of noise is something that's soothing. But when you get into a rhythm and then, every time chopping wood, that's another one. I think they did in the yeah, that's true. They did do chopping. wood chopping. <laughs> well, there's the whole. Thing. I mean, you could do the lumberjack competition as well. Ah, that's yeah. a whole other thing. Um, <laughs> But uh, you know, at a Man, certain point, the you know, even the the sounds of of cars driving around tracks at 200 miles per hour that becomes you know rather soothing. Yeah. And again, a ton of cautions, things like that. It's one of those things where if you fall asleep for an hour, you're not missing a whole lot. Probably, maybe you miss a wreck or two, but it is what you it is. Catch up. You're gonna see the end of the race. Uh, so I like that. That's a good nap one. I mean, a lot of these happen to happen on Sunday afternoons because Sunday afternoon is the best day to nap as well. So uh, it is what it is. Um, this is a Saturday one. Uh, the Kentucky Derby. This is risky. I, I did right here. This is a risky proposition, taking a nap during the Kentucky Derby. But if you're a gambler... <laughs> it's a quick nap. If you're, well, here's the thing. Oh, it's not the, during the Kentucky Derby itself. You it's during Kentucky, Kentucky Derby Kentucky coverage. Derby. That's the thing. It's, it's very risky. But if you're a gambler, if you're a drinker, if you're a drinker and a gambler, it's a big day for you. The like, coverage starts at, what, 12-1 with the race actually happening at 5.30. Yeah. So you're going at it hard. You're getting your bets in. You're drinking your mint juleps. You're doing all that. You might pass out. Like this is a this is what I'm saying. There's a thin line between passing out and taking a nap. But you gotta be sure you're up in, in time oh, because there's a good chance you missed that race because yeah. it's about 45 seconds or however long it is. So it's very risky. You're playing a risky game. But hey, we had to each come up with three events, and it's harder to do than it seems. Yeah, no, and I understand because the the coverage, the the pre-race coverage, you're basically just trotting around horses. Right. Uh, just, it was just like looking at all the rich people. Like yeah, nice hats, people like, just like very relaxed in their element. Yeah, yeah so I know. So I see where you're going with that. Uh, and finally, I'm going to go with the Olympics. Summer, winter, doesn't matter. I'm not a big Olympics fan as it is, but if there's nothing else on TV. Maybe you throw on uh, the, the, the what did I write here? Cross country skiing or uh, yeah, this, maybe there's your, uh, water polo event. on, and you're like, there's nothing on. I'm going to watch this at least competition in two minutes, and you're snoring on the couch yep um so the olympics I actually made a habit of napping during the second and third quarters of the late games on red zone challenge this fall it was, it was i incredible. i actually did the same thing i i've gotten to the point maybe this is me getting old but like by about 4 30 well, maybe not 4 30 about 5 30 in the afternoon on uh on sundays i'm like dave this is a lot of football i, I can yeah. use a nap and it is you know that's more you of an accidental nap well, and then you know you get the late game that night, which That's seems to get later right. and later. It's, it's, so you, so you got to pace yourself. It's, it's hard. It's getting. I, this is. I've never felt as old as I do. And it's like you know, I'm like I don't want to watch the late game because I've watched so much football today. 